Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with the next series in our 1955 Washington Senator season. And uh, today we are going to have um, two games against the Kansas City Athletics, I believe, is what they were in 1955. And uh, and as you by the way, as you'll notice, I don't have my picture up in the corner as I usually do. I'm hoping that the sound is better without my picture for whatever reason. Because when I, I notice when I do the football games, I don't usually have my image up in the corner, and the sound is a lot better on that. So hopefully the sound will be better on this without me in the corner. And then we'll go from there and we'll see how it works out. But anyway, we've got uh, today we got Johnny Schmitz against Arnie Potacariaro, or I don't really know how to pronounce it. But anyway, taking on Kansas City. Now, I told you that I would tell you what happened in the third game against Detroit because we had a three game series against Detroit and I only played two. I only televised two of them. And actually what happened was we lost that game 8-7. So we will get on with this game. I will turn the sound down on the computer. And we will get underway with the day. Um, yeah, Particaro, he's the computer. I'm home. I'm Schmitz. All right. There's the stats for the day. Uh, it's May 1st. And uh, we're six and nine, and Kansas City is seven and seven coming into the game. So we'll see how this all works out for us. And uh, there you go, Eddie Yost leading up against Paticaro, and he walks. Paticarero, I don't know. Um, Ernie Oravets. He strikes out. So there's one down with Yost aboard. And Pete Runnels is up, and he's going to hit into a double play to the shortstop, and we'll be out of the inning. So that brings Schmitz, our workhorse, out to the mound to face Joe Dim Dimitri. And he grounds out to Yost, hopefully, and he did. That brings up Jim Finnegan, and he's going to fly to right to Carlos Paula, our main man out there, and then uh, Vic Power is up, and he's going to single. Schmidt's giving up a two-out hit, and Gus Zerniel is up. And he hits a ground ball. B. So we go to the top of the second. Mickey Vernon up against Pacar Carrero, and he singles. So Vernon aboard, Seavers up. And Seavers hitting into a ground ball double play. Out to De Maestri. All right, I got to remember that. Not Dimitri, it's De Maestri. And then a fly ball to the right. Week. Testing Simpson. And what that's going to be. It's over his head. Nice. What? What happened there? We got a run. That was an inside the park home run. Oh, my God. All right, Valdiviso is up and he strikes out. So we got an inside the park home run. And we lead one nothing. And Schmitz drags his butt back out there and gets a ground ball from Bill Wilson. And that brings up Hector Lopez. And he is going to be out. And that brings up Joe Astra. Joe Astroth with the strikeout. So Schmitz. Schmitz on top of his game as usual. 
And he hits a ground ball. To Har Harry Simpson hits a ground ball to first, and that's going to be out of the inning. We go to the top of the third, and our walking man, Bruce Edwards, is up. And this time he's actually hitting a single. But that dude can get on base. Schmitz is up. I'm going to let him hit. And he hits a fly ball. So, you know, no harm, no foul. Eddie Oost up. He walked last time, and he hits a ground ball back to the pitcher. And that is going to be an out to first, so it's a fielder's choice, allowing Edwards to go to second with Oravets up. And Oravets is out. So we go to the bottom of the third. And that's going to be a single for part of career row. So the pitcher gets a single, and we got Demaistri up. But Demaistri's going to hit it with a line out into a double play, it looks like. Yes, indeed. And that brings up Finnegan. And Finnegan's going to ground out. So we are, we're looking good. And uh, Pete Runnels is up top of the fourth. We're winning one nothing. Kansas City's not that great of a team. And Runnels gets a single through the hole between second and first. Vernon up. And Vernon's going to hit a single. Nice. We got the first two guys on. We got a little rally going here. And Seavers. But Seavers hits into a double play. Of course. But of course he does. So now there's two out with Runnels 90 feet away and Carlos Paul up on the plate and getting a single and not him home. So we do get a run out of this. But look like we could have had a lot more. Jose Valdezzo is going to hit a double. And Carlos Paula, I might just send him. I might have to send him. Um, yeah, I'm going to send him. I don't think we have much of a choice here. And it works. And we have two runs in this inning, and we are ahead 3 nothing. And this is going to be a potential injury. Ah, uh, three days. All right, so we got to put in uh, Fitzgerald. So Fitzgerald will go in, be the catcher, and Schmitz back out to the mound to pitch to Victor Power. And he hits a ground ball out. We got a 3 nothing lead here, bottom of the fourth. Gus Zerniel's up. He strikes out. And Bill Wilson. And Bill Wilson ripping a double. He rips a double going shopping at the gap. And Hector Lopez is up, and he's going to be out. So Schmitz doing his usual mastery out there on the mound and now up at the plate and walking. There's a little added bonus for us, and Eddie O'Keefe is up. And he hits into a double play. Yeah, all these double plays. My God. This is why the Senators were bad. They kept hitting the double plays. Oravets is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to second. And Finnegan... He does not make the play, so Oravets is bored with Runnels at the plate, and he hits a ground ball back to the back pitcher. And that's it. So we go to the bottom of the fifth, still leading 3-0, and Astroth up and walking. So he draws a walk from Schmitz, and Harry Simpson's up. And Harry Simpson's going to be out. He'll hit a fly ball to Paula, one down. And Porto Carrero is up. And he's apparently trying to bunt, bunt which is great. And it's, it's it turns out to be a strikeout, and then the Maestri's up. 
and he's going to be single. So we're, they're going to have two men on, with two outs out and Finnegan up. And he walks, and Schmitz has loaded the base to pitch to Vic Power, who hits a fly ball to the field, and will get out of the inning still leading 3 nothing. And now Mickey Vernon. Mickey Vernon is going to be out. He was two for two. He could have had a perfect day, but he didn't. Seavers up. Seavers is out. Or at least he could have had a perfect day up to that point. And then Carlos Paula is at the play, and he is going. He just misses a triple. He's going to hit a double. Shopping at the gap for Carlos Paula with two down. And a man now at second, and Valdivizo up. And they walk Valdivizo to get to Fitzgerald. And he's going to fly out or ground out. So we're out of the inning, but we still have the 3 nothing lead. If Schmitz can keep pitching like this, it isn't really going to matter whether we get any more runs. And, uh, and Bill Wilson's up. Bill Wilson hits the ball back to Schmitz. And that is going to be two down, and Harry, Harry, or Hector Lopez up, and he's out. Grounds out to Vernon. We go to the top of the seventh, still leading 3 nothing and batting now. And they have a new pitcher, Vic Rashi. And he's pitching to Schmitz, and Schmitz hits a ground ball. Eddie Ocius is up, and he is out. And Orvets up at the plate and hitting a single. So he's two for four on the day. Two down and rolls out at the plate. And he strikes out. And of course, we are sending Schmitz back out there. And he really, pitching like he is, he really shouldn't be getting tired. A walk to Astroth, though, and Harry Simpson up. And Harry Simpson hitting a single from the first two men reach against him. And now Vic Rashi, and they're going to pinch hit for Vic Rashi. With Enos Country Slaughter. And he pops out to first. So there's one down in the seventh. That brings up Rick Demaestri. Demaestri hits a ground ball to short to a double play. And we're out of the inning. And I love this. Schmitz really needs to give me an outing like this because our bullpen is very thin and not very good. Mickey Vernon up. Mickey Vernon a red double. At least now the next guy can't hit into a double play. And that's Roy Sievers, who loves to do that. And that is going to be a line out for Sievers. And now we're facing Ray Herbert. And Paula is three for three today, and now he's four for four. This guy is on fire. I am not going to send him, though. Valdiviso at the plate. It's a ground ball, third base B. And I'm going to try to advance. I don't even care. And then they got him. So it's still only 3 nothing, And that's a fly ball by Fitzgerald. So a little bit of a foolhardy try there for me to try to score the guy. And it didn't work. But Schmidt is, you know, saving my butt by pitching like the mad man that he is for us. And that's an error by the shortstop, Valdiviso, with power up the plate. And that's going to be like a pop out to first. See, unlike um, that pitcher, that manager for the Tampa Bay, if I got a pitcher that's smoking, all right, he's not smoking. Now I'm smoking. Zerniel just hit a two run home run, so now it's 3 2. Things are not as clear-cut as they would like to be, or as I would like them to be. And now Bill Wilson up. He's out.
And that brings up Hector Lopez, who pops out. And really, really, as long as they don't say Schmitz is tired, I might actually still keep him out there. Schmitz is up at the plate, so as far as I know, he's not tired. So I'm going to keep him, you know, available. I'm going to keep that option available to send him back out to the mound. Yo steps with one down, and he does get a hit. First hit of the day for him, although he did walk. And Orvis is up. He's two for four. He is going to hit a ground ball. And that brings up Russ. And Runnels is going to hit him with a double And I am going to make one change. And that is I'm going to take Orovets out of center field. And, uh, and put Umflet in center for him. But we're going to let Schmitz try to get through this game. And that is a single, a leadoff single by Joe Astroth. Harry Simpson's up, and they bring up Billy Chance, pitch and hit, and he does get a hit, and now I am going to go to the bullpen. So let's go get um, Chikales. And I am asking quite a bit of him, because there's two runners on with no outs. And uh, the pinch just got a single, so. Base is loaded. I'm going to keep the infield back. I hate playing the infield in. We're going to hold the double play. No, he hits a single. And I have to try to throw for the runner. We don't get him. And he wins the game. So, yeah, it was a heartbreaker right there. But, you know, what are you going to do? So we're going to the second game. Uh, really hated that, man. That was a tough loss. And we got Dean Stone on the mound for us against Al Dittmar. And you can see now we are 6-10. and 10, And they are 8-7. and seven. So, Eddie Yost, we got a night game. Eddie Yost hitting the ball at the second baseman, Finnegan. And he's out. Oravets is up. Oravets hits a single. Oravets has been hot lately. I'm going to say yes. Let's try to advance. He does. Runnels is up. And he's going to hit a double and knock it right on. Or a, uh, what is that? Yeah, it's a double. Gonna be it. So we take a quick lead again, and we did in the last game. Last game looked like we had that locked up, and we didn't. Seavers up, only one out runner at the corners, and he walks. All right, well that's better than the double play. And Carlos Pozola, who is scalding hot and continues to be scalding hot, knocks in another possibly couple runs. Yes, he does. And Valdivizo is up. And he hits the ground ball at Finnegan. And it gets away. Nice. Air by Finnegan and Fitzgerald at the plate. He's not gonna, that's not going to be a home run, I'll tell you that. But it's going to be a fly ball that scores Paula. And it's four nothing and L Art oh and Art Dittmar, not L. And he's already tired. Dean Stone is at the plate and he strikes out. So they knew that they could get Dean Stone at least. And now Dean Stone is pitching to Demaistri, who he walks. But we got a five nothing lead, so ground ball B for Finnegan. Big power up, and he's going to hit a single. So Dean Stone comes out and is pitching almost as bad as Dittmar was. 
Zernial. All right, I don't want to say that because he hasn't given up five runs. But he strikes out Zernial. And that brings up Bill Wilson. And Bill Wilson's going to hit a fly ball to the center fielder, and we're out of the inning. And still, we still have the good 5 nothing lead. And that brings up Eddie Yost, top of the lineup, top of the order, and he pops up. Up steps Corvettes, one for one with a double, and he's going to be out, out for the first time today on a line out for first base. And that brings up his Runnels. I thought Rashi was, oh no, no, Rashi's the new pitcher. So Rashi pitched last game. And he's already on again to pitch. And uh, so Dean Stone and uh, our boys go back out to the field. Still up 5 nothing, Pitching to Hector Lopez, who hits the ball for base. That brings up Bastroth. And he's going to hit the ball to third base and be out. And that brings up Perry Simpson. And he strikes out. So we've got the uh, we got Mickey Vernon coming up, and Mickey Vernon uh, two for two. This guy's like our all star. Roy Severs is up, and Roy Severs is going to hit a two run home run, and we're up seven nothing. So we have been able to rest the bullpen. I mean, last game we only had uh, we only brought in uh, uh, Kaylee's and only for a little bit. He, he, until he lost the game, but he was only on for one inning. And uh, and in this game, you got to believe I'm going to ride Dean Stone until his arm falls off because we're winning big here. I am going to I'm going to send the lead runner, I think, and it works. And Fitzgerald's up with runners at the corners, and he hits a double. So Vic Rashi is getting his. Uh, Feels like he's got a rash right now. I'm going to send the lead runner because we're playing with house money and Dean Stone is up. And he hit a ground ball. It would double play. Yep, double play. But we're ahead 9 nothing, and Yost up at the plate, and he's hit by pitch and injury. I mean, he was injured once before. And one day, all right. In addition to today. So... We've got to put somebody out there. Let's put a uh, Killebrew out there. Killebrew is going to be not only the pinch runner, which is not a great idea, but he's going to be our new third baseman. But I didn't want to use two guys for one position, so... So we will move Killebrew to third, give him a little bit of playing time. And now Vic Rashi's up. you got to believe they're going to pinch hit for him, and they do with Ian Country Slaughter. And he hits the ball to ground to second base at Runnels. And that's an infield hit. So the Maestri's up with a man aboard, and he's going to fly out. Jim Finnegan up. He's going to hit a ground ball to first base. We're in the bottom of the third, and we're winning big, 9 nothing. And that's going to be a 5 ball for Vic Power of Kansas City, which gets them out of the third and puts us back up at the plate in the top of the fourth with the good 9 nothing lead. And Runnels up, and Runnels is going to fly out. Mickey Vernon, two for two, and he's going to be three for three with a triple here. This isn't, this is just crazy. Now I really, really wish we had hung on and won that first game. Severs is up at the plate, and he singles a run. run. And now it's 10 nothing us. 10 nothing good guys. As uh, Hawk Harrelson would have said. 
And Valdebezo is up and singling. I am, I'm going to send the lead runner. I mean, I might as well do that every time now. No reason not to. And there's a single in the 11th run. Um, I'm going to send the lead runner. Why not? And Dean Stone is up. And he strikes out for the last out of fourth, but we're ahead 11 to nothing. nothing. So Dean Stone, you got to believe, is going to be riding this one. He's going to be riding the big wave all the way to the ninth. Bill Wilson is up at the plate and flying out. Because I'm a guy that believes I'm the I'm an old school guy. I believe starters pitch as much in as far into the game as they possibly can. And Kilbrew, the replacement for the main man, uh, Yost. And he is out, and Orr is up with one down, and he walks. That brings up Runnels, and he singles. All right, here I'm... I'm going to hold. Vernon three for three, and up at the plate, and he's finally out, and he's hit, hits into a double play. So Astros comes up for Kansas City, facing Stone, and he is flying to center. And that reminds me, I probably should take Oravets out now. Harry Simpson is up. He's going to hit a great ground ball to Runnels, and that's an out. Two down, and Ray Herbert's up, and they're going to pinch hit Elmer Velo for him. And he walks. And DeMaestri's up at the plate, and he hits a home run one to five. And that's going to be a double over Oravets's head. Let's see if they send him. I'm going to throw for him because I might as well. And he's out at the plate. Unbelievable. All right, Roy Severs is up. We're still winning 11 nothing, blanking him. Dean Stone loving that great throw that got the, nailed the man at the plate. But Severs is out. Carlos Ball is two for three, and he's going to hit the ball to third. That's Lopez. And he's out, and Valdivizo's up. And Valdivizo is going to round out. So, yeah, now we're going to go, um, um, we're going to put Umflit in at center field for Oravets. And Dean Stone pitching to Finnegan. And Finnegan leads off with the thing here in the bottom of the sixth with us ahead 11 to nothing. Vic Power is going to sing single. And Gus Zerniel is up, and Gus Zerniel hits the fly ball to center, and I just made that change, and thank God I did, but let's see if Umflit even gets it. He makes the catch, and he uncorks the throw, but it's going to be late, obviously. It's 11-1, to but man, man, I made that change just in time. Dean Stone has to thank me and Umflit now. And Ed Fitzgerald is up. He's going to be out. Top of the seventh, we're ahead 11 to 1. On Dean Stone batting and striking out. And that brings up Armin Killebrew, and he strikes out. And uh, Hector Lopez is up at the plate, he's out. By the way, I I believe in a, in an earlier telecast when I was taught when I was referring to Caleb Drew, I said he was near the end of his career here. Turns out I was very wrong about that. He was actually at the beginning of his career. <laughs> so um, yeah, my mistake. But Harry Simpson going to be out for the third out of the seventh, 
And we go to the top of the eighth, batting against Cloyd Boyer. And we got Alvin Flint, who was a defensive replacement and come to design the singles anyway. He says, hey, let me get in on the hit parade. And Ronald runs his two for four with a double, and at the plate, that's the catcher card X. And the catcher makes the play. There's one down. Vernon, three for four with the triple today. And let him add a home run to that resume. That guy is having a serious, not only game, which goes without saying, but also season. And that's going to be a ground ball to Maestri at short. So there's two down now, I think, and we're winning 13-1. It's you know close game. And uh, Carlos Paul is out. And Cloyd Boyer is up at the plate, and they're going to pinch hit for him with Bill Renna. Bill Renna pops out. Dean Stone pitching, still pitching strong here in the eight. Loving it. And needing it. Demistri is up. Of course, with 13 runs, I can be on the mound. So uh, Demistri is out of there, and Finnegan's up. And he walks. That brings up Vic Power. And Vic Power hits a single. Gus Zernial is up at the plate, and he flies out. Of course, he had a key home run last game, which helped beat us. But to no avail here, because he doesn't do the same thing here. And Bill ha who? Harrington? Bill Harrington is on to face Valdivizo, who grounds out. One of these days, i got to give Valdivizo a day off, because that guy plays every day. Fitzgerald up, and he walks. He gets aboard. Dean Stone up, and he's going to hit a ground ball at Finnegan. Let's see if he can get on. He can't, and Killer is up. The young Killebrew hits a double over Wilson's head. And I am not going with numbers like that. I am not going to try it. And Umflit comes up to play. And he's going to hit a fly ball and get us out of the inning. Which doesn't really matter because it's right now and right here and right now, Kansas City needs 12 runs off Dean Stone. And I'm throwing my computer out the window. Again. But Bill Wilson leads off with a double. And that brings up Hector Lopez. And Hector Lopez goes a fly out. And the runner does not advance with Astroth up at the plate. And he's grounding out a shortstop. So there's two down. We're one out away from splitting with Kansas City. And that is going to be a single by Simpson. Dean Stone is tired, but he's staying out there. This tired ass is going to keep pitching. And that's going to be a double, which scores a run. Of course, it's not helping his ERA, but we're still going to win the game. And Demise is up with two down. And he pops out, and we're out of the game, out of the inning, out of the game, and we win that one 13 to 2. So let's go get the box score on this. We go to 7 and 10. Not the greatest record, but then again, the team really lost 100 games in real life, so. And Dean Stone is 1-2 and two on the year with a 263 earned run average now. And he went through every pitcher he owned, I think. So that's it for me. We, we, uh, we split with Kansas City, and that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Our next series will be against my White Sox of 1955. But I'm signing off and letting everybody know, hey, have a good day, and... A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.